In almost all modern cars with automatic transmissions, you cannot push start the vehicle. An automatic needs internal hydraulic pressure to connect the engine to the wheels, and that pressure only exists when the engine is already running. So, even if you push the car fast, the wheels can't spin the engine. With a dead battery, you'll need another method such as a jump start, a booster pack, or similar assistance. A manual transmission can be push started because it has a direct mechanical link between the wheels and the engine when the clutch is engaged. If you roll the car, select a gear, and release the clutch, the wheels directly turn the engine crankshaft. That rotation lets the engine suck in air, spray fuel, ignite, and start running. No starter motor required. Automatic transmissions are fundamentally different. Instead of a direct connection, they use a torque converter, which is a fluid coupling device that transmits torque from the engine to the transmission through moving transmission fluid. The torque converter depends on transmission fluid being pumped under high pressure to function properly. This hydraulic pressure is produced by a transmission pump that, in nearly all vehicles, is mechanically driven by the engine itself, not the wheels. This leads to a critical loop. The engine must turn the pump, the pump must build hydraulic pressure, the pressure allows the torque converter and clutches to engage, and only then can the wheels receive torque and the vehicle move. When the engine isn't running, the pump doesn't spin. Without the pump spinning, there's no hydraulic pressure, and without pressure, the wheels cannot spin the engine. As a result, pushing the vehicle simply causes it to roll freely without any mechanical engagement capable of turning the engine. There are, however, a few unusual exceptions where an automatic can be bump-started, though these are rare. Some very old automatic transmissions, mostly from before the 1980s, used a rear-mounted hydraulic pump that turned when the wheels turned. If you could reach enough speed, usually between 20 and 30 miles per hour, that rear pump could build sufficient pressure for the torque converter to engage and spin the engine. A few early automatics from manufacturers such as General Motors, Ford, and Chrysler even listed push-start procedures in their original owner manuals, though these cars are uncommon today and their specific methods varied. Certain hybrid or electric assist vehicles also deviate from the norm. In these systems, the electric motor can crank the engine without a traditional starter motor, allowing the vehicle to start even when the engine itself isn't turning. However, because hybrids rely heavily on electronic control units, if the 12-volt battery is dead, the vehicle may not boot up its systems at all, preventing the electric motor from engaging. While this might appear similar to a push start, it's not actually the same mechanical process. Some dual-clutch transmissions DCTs, share characteristics with manual transmissions and use two clutches, but most still rely on electronic actuators and hydraulics to engage gears, so in practical terms, they also cannot be push-started. For any rare case, the safest and most accurate information will always come from the vehicle's specific owner's manual. It's important to emphasize the safety warnings involved. You should never try to push start a modern automatic because it can damage the transmission, torque converter, or internal clutch assemblies. Towing an automatic in gear or with its drive wheels on the ground can also cause catastrophic damage because internal components can rotate without lubrication or hydraulic pressure, leading to overheating and scoring. Additionally, most modern cars depend on electrical power to operate vital systems like the fuel pump, ignition, and engine control unit. So even if you somehow manage to spin the engine mechanically, the car still might not start. Pushing a heavy vehicle, especially in traffic or on a slope, can also be dangerous to you and others nearby. If an automatic car will not start due to a dead battery, there are several practical alternatives. The safest and most common is to jumpstart it using another car or a portable jump starter or booster pack. Roadside assistance can also provide a jump or tow if needed. If the gear shifter is locked in park because of low battery voltage, you can usually use the shift lock override feature, typically a small slot near the shifter, to release it and move the vehicle. If the battery is completely dead or damaged, replacing it may be the only solution. When towing an automatic, always ensure that the drive wheels are off the ground, either by using a flatbed or wheel lift tow truck to prevent internal transmission damage.
Never tow in automatic long distances with the driven wheels rolling freely, as this can cause extensive mechanical harm.